Hey everybody, Josh RV Nerd down here at Advantage One RV. We're literally being dropped off right now is this beautiful 2504S Rockwood Mini Light. 4,830 pounds. It was owned by a couple. Even though this is a little bunkhouse, they said what we love about it, it was small and it had so much storage space. They're actually, uh, so I asked them because like, you see there's a full RV cover here. Their travel trailer hitch is included with this. The original outside grill, all kinds of stuff. I was like, what's wrong with it guys? Why, why don't you want any more? They said, no, nothing like that. We just decided to get something bigger. And ironically, the next RV they have their eyes on, the thing that they commented was it didn't have as much storage as this one. Starting inside, if you were sitting at the dinette, this is kind of what it would look like over here. And between that big kitchen window, which is something Rockwood does very well, doesn't get a lot of credit for that. The, the, the entry door window does just cascade light. I have seen some people swap that out for a full viewing window, though. Uh, one of my buddies, Mr. Adam Douglas, did that in a very similar Rockwood floor plan. I always thought it looked pretty good in there. But then also that sofa side window over there. You have some good campsite window coverage on this thing. But what's cool about this floor plan is how it gives us the space and the seating of a super slide without the length, weight, and cost of a super slide. And the way they accomplish that is right here with this handy dandy Murphy bed system that they have. It is a one piece camp queen. It's actually a heated mattress that drops down. But if you need privacy, you see that you do have that kind of privacy curtain that you can pull across there. That is the only hiccup on Murphy beds. You kind of give that up a little bit. But what I love about this is how it's just like a normal sofa. And then it's just a normal bed. Like the way that those closets and everything work is absolutely fantastic. If I get down here and look up a little bit, you see this one was built with that second optional uh, extra large like Max Air vent fan. There's another one of those in the bathroom. And I don't use a, uh, a tricky fisheye lens on these. It does have a little bit of a vaulted ceiling, which opens the whole thing up and gives us, uh, I don't know, just a nice big more sense of like breathing room in here. I'll give you a second pass in just a second to get to see uh, all the storage space. For now, though, I just kind of want to look at the, the layout uh, in its daytime mode. And it looks weird having a TV mounted right on the face of some bunks like that. But remember that with this Murphy bed, when you're sitting on the sofa, that's where you're at. This is the, like we got to see from the dinette. When you're sitting on the sofa, this is our point of view right here. And... It's kind of funny. I think the camper actually just visibly, aesthetically, just the way the lines kind of land. I think this thing looks pretty darn cool myself. I don't know. Maybe uh, maybe I'm just biased like that. But it's nice that it's a no neck record TV set up here. One of the other things I think is really cool in this camper is the way that that table is, it's not bolted down to anything. So if you want to slide it around a little bit, you can. You can also take it outside for picnic time if you're so inclined. Now, uh, that pantry on the right hand side over there those shelves are removable if you want to turn that into a closet you can now there is a huge countertop extension included with this camper it's just we'll, we'll see it in a second it's sitting over on the bunks i kind of just left it out of the way first so you could take a look at uh the, the handy drawer space there and this countertop it would be kind of handy to get to some of the storage but there's actually two different uh directions of access you can get into that under counter storage space now, if you notice, there's like a power strip on the wall over there. It is actually uh, fed down into this outlet because you got an outlet down there. You got an outlet up under there, but they're kind of in weird spots. And this is a laminated sidewall. Uh, the manufacturer, Rockwood, they couldn't really easily put uh, an outlet like in the wall uh, and maintain a uh, proper electrical code that is, which, you know, um, fire safety being what it is. I'm, I'm sure that was of interest to them. <laughs> Good pantry space over there, blocking our view of the refrigerator. We'll see that in a second. But also, if you are a campsite cook and you, you want them cookies and biscuits, you got yourself a 22-inch oven instead of the smaller 16. Now a little look up from there. That is a 6 cubic foot gas electric fridge freezer. Another thing that's really kind of crazy but cool on this is that is centralized air. Very often in a little, mostly one room, open concept camper like this, you won't get central air, but you do have that here. Notice, too, you have totally separate curtains. Actually, two curtains for the upper bed. Uh, one for the front, one for the side for privacy. As well as a separate curtain down here. Now, uh, Rockwood's really cool. They're one of the very few manufacturers that actually includes a ladder for you. I wish more manufacturers did it. 
they can be obtained after market, but hey, you know, I, that just is what it is. That's what I call Rockwood doing Rockwood things. And you can see if I get you down over in here, that is that extra large countertop extension. Now below this, you see a couple doors. There's full storage below that bunk. We're actually going to see it from the outside because it does have dual access doors. The bathroom is interesting. It's actually, there's a couple things in this that are a little bit tricky for me to catch on camera. So I'm going to get the, the lion's share of it first while I'm at a good angle here. Um, the, uh, the toilet paper holder, if you are a little thicker in the hips, it might dig into your side a little bit. So you may want to relocate that if you're a little bit bigger person. The big vent fan, I want to point something out here. Uh, you see how clean that is? When we get outside, you're going to see the folks had a bunch of stickers on the RV where they used it a lot. But that fan is clean. That means that those people actually took it down and cleaned it with regularity so that it didn't end up looking just absolutely uh, atrocious. Which, uh, man, I see a lot of used campers and I see all kinds of things. And this is kind of what I was talking about right here. This is at an angle that I just can't get a good still photo of it. So this is like a, a video only exclusive bonus. Now remember that pantry saw the removable shelves in the hanging closet? You got two of them. And then I figured, hey, what better way to demonstrate the fact that you can walk all the way from the front to the back of this camper with the slide closed than by actually, you know, starting in the back in the bathroom of the RV. One thing I do want to point out for you, though, is when you are going down the road, you could maybe still use those bunks and perhaps for a couple, that could be your travel stop sleeper. But uh, the front Murphy bed, it is not accessible with that super slide. Well, not super slide, but full deep slide closed because... Man, look at this thing. That is a big, deep slide. And you saw the folks pulling away. I had a chance to chat with them. Just, just good quality people. Like their truck was similarly well kept. Just everything was in really, really good condition. Uh, something I noticed up here, it kind of hides behind the propane tank so it's easy to miss. That's the extra battery in box that they added up here. So, you know, you spend a little more time uh, off the grid or just in a parking lot, you got some more lights. We are doing some, uh, construction and cleanup actually we just put up the new building uh new service bays and everything back here but that meant that we've got like a <laughs> gravel pit in front of it where the old building came down and we still have crews coming in cleaning everything out so pardon the dust right there uh this is kind of interesting uh rockwood is really one of the first manufacturers to sort of crack the code on finding a way to maintain some decent outside storage with an easy one-piece murphy bed that right there, what you're looking at is the bracket for the outside grill. That's the little work shelf table that can go next to it. The grill is actually inside the pass-through here, but on the way through, you're going to see the uh, load leveling and anti-sway combo hitch right here, and that's the grill over there. Now, where we are actually physically at in the RV currently is under the sofa, which is kind of cool. Rockwood realized, you know, Maybe we can't have a traditional underbed storage space, but we can still get you something outside there. And then down below in the box, you see uh, a full outside uh, cover. And that appears to be one of the, the nicer series, uh, like the, uh, the, the, the more weather resistant kind, by the way. We, uh, we uh, recommend RV covers. We're big fans of them here at Advantage One. And uh, that, that is one of those things. Now, there's, there's a couple areas of the country, like if you live where it's super, super windy, it can be argued you don't necessarily want one. But other than that, I think they're fantastic. And it's one of the reasons this trailer looks amazing. Uh, you saw the awning open when our footage actually began here. Um, <laughs> the condition of the camper, you wouldn't believe how much it's been used until you start walking around the back wall here and you see where they kind of have their, you know, all their badges, all their little remembrances of all the different places they've gone. It's... In a way, it's, it, it's fun to put them on the camper. Sometimes I wonder, though, if you shouldn't almost like, almost have your own camper scrapbook so you can kind of take those memories with you, if that makes any sense. It, it, it almost sometimes feels a little bit sad leaving them behind. Now, um, this was, the, today's Rockwoods have a hitch on the back. This was made before that. So the folks added their own little, just bolt-on accessory hitch there. You're not gonna wanna use that for anything real heavyweight, but just like a, a light duty bike rack, or you could go with the tongue mount bike rack instead. Uh, there is a black flush and an outside utility shower on the back of that thing right there. So you can, uh, you know, hose yourself off before you go trekking through the whole camper. And again, outside storage on a Murphy Bay camper can be tricky. And that's where it's nice when Rockwood starts doing Rockwood things. One of those, actually, here's an unsung hero that Rockwood still does today. They've done this for years. They have an antifreeze inlet built onto their campers. 
So you don't necessarily, you don't have to actually take that sticky jug of antifreeze into the camper and worry about accidentally spilling anything anywhere or dribbling anything. That stuff is slippery, it's sticky, you know? You can wipe it up and clean it up, but it's just, no, you don't have to. It's just nice that you don't have to worry about that. And remember how I said there's storage uh, under the entirety of the U-Dinette, but you only saw like doors and drawers uh, on the inside. On the outside here, this is a classic Forest River thing that almost no brands still seem to do today, giving us that outside access. And this right here is actually behind that closet. It's what I call endoscopy storage because uh, I feel like I'm giving this camper a lower GI scope as I run this uh, camera up there. Sometimes I wish that door uh, was a little bit taller, but at the same time, if it was really tall, it would be hard to like get up there and latch it and lock it. So I, I suppose in a way I, I understand why it's not. Now this baggage door is a little funny. It's a little bit of a dog leg left to get to the under storage space there. I think they just did the best they could with the space that they were able. Um, overall though, man, I gotta say, I am I am happy with the, uh, the condition of this camper. It is gleaming in the sun, it looks fantastic. So she looks good, give us a call. Uh, it's late model enough, we may still be able to acquire uh, same as new financing or something darn close to it, obviously uh, pending credit approval. But look at this thing. I don't know that you even need necessarily half ton. A mid-sized pickup, a bigger SUV with a good tow package, you'd yank this thing all around, have a great time. And just like these folks, it doesn't, it's a, it's a bunkhouse. It doesn't have to be only families looking at this. Couples, you can repurpose those bunks for so much storage capacity and a, a bunch of totes, depending on what you're doing out on your campsite, sometimes really, really handy. Short of that, any other questions you have, uh, I will tell you that I leave a link in the video description where you can always check pricing and availability, but beyond that, give us a call. We'll get you camping. Take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy Halo camping, everyone.